telling them to synagogues, mm -hmm. telling them about uh, that we did the brochure. I'm going to send them a copy, and that we used their yeah. logo, and that you, my children, are helping me in it, and you are my inspiration for doing everything. So we looked around us, where are we going to sit? We don't have a place. Not every child is going to come to my house, and my house is not big enough to fit all the children. Then we thought, okay, so we looked around and we thought, every neighborhood in Jordan has a mosque. So we could use the mosque. It's open, free. <laughs> Uh, anybody could come, it's a safe place, it has carpets. My name is Rana Dajani. Uh, I am married and I have four children. By my career, I'm an assistant professor. Uh, my specialty is molecular biology. I teach at the Hashemite University in Jordan. What do you think about giving out the brochure? Maybe I should contact them and we could send them a copy. I found out that some of the statistics says that the number of pages that are read in the Arab world is half a page a year, while in the United States it's 11 books a year. So imagine the, the, the wide gap in, in the amount of reading. And when I say reading, what I, uh, I mean is reading for pleasure, not reading to study. Just to solve little problems here and there. To give um, I'm helping my mom working on this project. And I'm Amin Awad, her daughter, and I think this is an amazing project because it's really giving the kids of Jordan and all of the Middle East, if this continues, a wonderful chance for their future. My name is Muhammad Kilani. I'm from Palestine. I'm one of 22 social innovators who've been selected from Synergos. Uh, my project is a non-profit organization called Sukhtil, which helps job seekers to find jobs, but this time by uh, via a new technology, which is mobile technology. So wherever they are, they can have a great window of job markets so they can receive jobs through their mobiles. So we save their effort and also we save their time. So no need to cross like 20 bar barriers in Palestine from Jenin to Ramallah and spend like more than uh, $50 uh, searching for a job. So what we're doing is that exactly we recruit jobs from more than uh, 200 companies and we spread them out via our technology SMS. The good thing about Synergo is that we deal with us as a family, not as like, a client. We give them a financial award and then like they do their project and they develop and that's, that's it. We felt like we are a member of a huge family called Synergos. They love each other and they just they want us like to, to invest more in our project and like to, to get more achievement and more success stories. My name is Ali Abawad. I'm Palestinian from Beit Omar, Hebron. I'm 37 years old. I'm one of the innovators who were chosen in the Middle East by Synergos. My project is empowering local leaders for setting a nonviolent movement resistant in Palestine. Helping out for having a reconciliation process between both sides because I believe that it's our destiny to live, not to keep dying like this way. The 
nervous for me was kind of a process where I arrived from being or from having hope to believe. It helps me to be more organized, it helps me to mo be more focusing, and uh, it helps me to be a better believer of my dream. We have a group of local leaders, wanted people, fighters from Jenin. Uh, I want to connect them to the movement of nonviolent resistance. Nonviolent for me is the art of using your pain, is the art of educating your anger, because education is so important. We want to control the situation by educating ourselves for nonviolent and peace and resisting this madness. Synergos for me has proved that how could the world be better if people decide to care about each other. Hi everybody. Hi. My name is Nuruddin Amru. I'm the headmaster of Siraj Al Qudsi School of Integration, which is part of Nur Ain Society for the Visually Handicapped in Jerusalem. And we are going to develop it further and further. And in fact, Synergos organization helped us a lot. Um, uh, they offered us uh, an award, a financial award, which uh, uh, covered some of our uh, costs and helped us to uh, to purchase new things for this school. Hello, hello everybody. Yalla, hello. 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 How are you? We have audio computers in the other room, and I'll show you how uh, how they use computer. There is a great difference between the visually handicapped people who live in Europe and in the Western world and those who live uh, under the occupation in Jerusalem and in West Bank. Uh, visually handicapped people here face and encounter all types of challenges and difficulties. They are poor, they are marginalized, um, they are disadvantaged people who, who do not have access to technology which is very and quite expensive, they cannot afford uh, purchasing uh, the necessary tools and the instruments. Here we have uh, a group of uh, visually handicapped uh, children who use computer through screen read readers. <laughs> I am 10 years old. 10 years old. Do you listen to music I like She's writing a letter to her colleague. It's very difficult for them to find jobs, to find a source of funding, and to lead uh, normal lives, so they are marginalized and uh, live in uh, very uh, disadvantaged uh, conditions. We offer our services to more than 200 children, and the, the, there is a greater number, but we cannot de de deliver services to all of them, as I said, because of the financial and economic uh, conditions, and because of the uh, limitation of the building here, because the building is not enough and we cannot absorb all of them here. Thank you.